What, in, what are foreign affairs? Presumably everybody in this room is here because you're extremely interested in geopolitics generally, uh, in terrorism, in uh, trade, in um, uh, development and economic uh, equity worldwide. There will be many issues that you regard as foreign affairs. Well, I'm here to argue very strongly that care about the future of the living earth is a critical foreign affairs issue. Absolutely critical, uh, because it will determine a great deal of politics. We are talking about the meniscus of life on earth on a finite planet which sustains all life on earth and every culture, every economic being. This is the natural wealth of nations and they trash this at their peril. I do believe that human dependence on ecosystems is another inconvenient truth. I mean the fact that it remains so mightily ignored in so many forums, particularly poor nations, are incredibly vulnerable to the abuse whether it's by themselves or by others of their ecosystems. So our entire economic paradigm is, is based on this pursuing of economic gains and perpetual growth, uh, really in ignorance or in, without thinking about the constraints of holding these natural systems. And as I said, with nine billion additional people and three billion perhaps new middle class people, you can imagine the demands that that's going to put. If those freshwater lenses get polluted, which is already happening now, where do those people go? Those environmental refugees will be coming to Australia and New Zealand. We took on the Japanese over whaling. Will we take the Chinese on over sharks? Will we take the Chinese on over any other issue? Will we stand up in international forums over ivory. I mean, one of the biggest issues in the world is just corruption, poor government, uh, badly funded uh, uh, management authorities. In many cases, it's even when we do have an excellent protected area, there's the lack of governance to stop the illegal logging, the illegal mining, etc. You don't just manage for a blob of conservation here and a blob there, because we know from science, particularly um, conservation science, that that won't work. Copenhagen was a disaster. It was a real disaster because before Copenhagen there was a real momentum, there was a huge amount of information and people, I think a huge number of perfectly ordinary intelligent people got it. That this was serious and something should happen. But there was too much put in the Copenhagen basket. Somehow we were all going to come out and there'd be a the holy grail, we'd have the plan and the world would agree and come together. But I do believe that there were armies, literally armies, of lobbyists for the coal industry going through every IPCC report trying to find faults. I really do, because there was so, there's so much money. As if environmentalism, conservation is some sort of Green Party plot over on the far left of politics. Well, it's absolutely au contraire. Any person from any part of the political spectrum should support environmental protection as just simple common good sense.